Hello, my name's Odessa Esco, and this is Commonly Confused English. Before we get to the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and take a look at the Google Docs that's linked in my banner for all the Commonly Confused English videos, more tips, more explanations, and just a place to see it written down, which helps people learn you know, a lot. So take the time to go through the Google Docs and you won't regret it. <laughs> okay, now for today's video, we're talking about the two words appear and arrive. Appear is how we talk about something coming into our visual sight. Like, this toothbrush slowly appeared on screen. I don't know why I was shaking it so but like, this is appearing, right? Ooh. Right now, everything you can see on me, you can see it, but it's not appearing. It's already in front of your face. So appear is how we say things that are becoming visible to us that once weren't. Appear also has this connotation around, it. it's like mysteriously coming to your site. Maybe we don't know how it gets there, or it's kind of like a phenomenon, like something really amazing that we don't really understand. Like when the stars come out at night, the stars appear to us. They reveal themselves from the darkness as the night goes on and it's kind of magical. You know, they're kind of just coming out of nowhere and that's the main idea with appear. We also use the word appears when we're trying to put together a story for someone. Maybe a, a bunch of little details are happening and you've kind of come to a full picture based off of these little details. For example, there might be a big table. Let's imagine a big table. And on the table, we have a little bit of tomato sauce, you know, a pot, um, some pasta noodles. We can see that somebody looks like they're getting ready to make spaghetti. So you would say something like, it appears somebody is getting ready to make spaghetti. It looks like, based off of this information, this is the next thing that's going to happen. So, we use appear to talk about things we can see suddenly. Woo! This appeared out of nowhere. And then also to talk about our thinking and our conclusions as well. It doesn't appear that you understand what I'm saying, so I'm gonna try to say it a different way. So, I'm telling you, it looks like you don't know what I'm talking about, but I can't 100% say that. I don't know what you understand or don't. So we can use the word appears to let people know like, hey, from my perspective, this is what it looks like. This is what's happening from my perspective, it appears. Instead of me saying you are or you're this or you're that or putting my own conclusions or emotions onto someone else, it's a nice word to use, appear, so you don't do that. You can say you appear to look angry or you appear to be really unhappy right now. Something like that allows you to kind of let people know what you're thinking, the final solution or the final conclusion you've come to based off of the information or the details you're seeing without you kind of like telling someone or telling a situation what it is or what it's feeling. Arrive, arrive has to do with travel and transportation. So usually when we talk about travel and transportation, we're going from point A to point B. When you're leaving, that's point A. When you're arriving, that's point B. You'll use the word arrive when you want to let people know that you're getting to or at your final destination or where you want to be. I'm going to plan to arrive at the party for 9 p.m. I'm gonna try and make sure I'm physically there at least by 9 p.m. That's where I need to be at point B. We also use arrive to describe non-physical destinations or points that we reach. I finally arrived at the conclusion that I will not be doing any interviews this year. In this situation, you are arriving at a certain place. It's a mental place, right? A conclusion, a final decision. So if you hear in discussion, come on guys, we need to arrive at a conclusion, come on, that's correct. Okay, that's all for this video, you guys. I hope you now know the difference between arrive and appear. If you have any more questions or comments, please leave them in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Stay cute.